Okay, peoples. It's 10 to 9 in Kaunas. And we're still going to look out for a gym. And one, but very interesting because someone said in the comments, it's still Soviet style gym. The oldest one. Kultrima Klubas Olimpas. That is dope. Look at this here. Kulturismo Klubas Olimpas. That is dope. This entrance here just is cool. Nice. This is all you need, man. So we've been accepted into the gym. Four euros at the gym of champions. And I'm being told once again that this is the oldest gym in the country. What am I doing in this room? Warming up. with the deadlift got a handful of rust hey man you're training ciao got my handful of rust that's a new one I'm gonna need my tetanus shot after this I love it well that was a great training session in Lithuania's oldest gym I think uh, it still stems from the Soviet time. Good morning, people here from the Fuegni in Kaunas. And we're scooting, skirting out of the, of the place uh, where we were staying. I, gotta, I still was working late on the video, uh, but all good. Thanks again. Open says she. What's that happening right now? Is that, I dare say, a drizzle? You shouldn't be getting too heavy of a rainfall today, but you never know. Let's go. Let's go on. Let's go. Let's go. You're still standing. Oh, what were you doing? Were you busy or something? Yeah. Just getting involved. He's the guardian of the atlas. Listo, mujer. Andale. Let's go. Whoa, bump. All right. But we, before we really, really, whoa, that's a slide. We really get out of Kaunas. Wanna check out, is it a church, a monastery, a monastery? By the dam, let's go. Bazaislis. That's the name of the uh, monastery here. Wow, this almost looks uh, Portuguese. The entrance. Six euros to go check it out. Each. It's it. We we seen it. It's uh, it's nice enough, isn't it? Bloody travelers. This is still a pretty uh, cool hotel. I don't think uh, it costs our uh, usual relative humble uh, humble amount per night. Forty bucks. We'll just that one. If you like something else, it's more like be like three hundred and twenty-five. Ah. Uh. <laughs> in Dutch they say, uh, look, look, but not buy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, really. The Dutch are known at, like every, every, everywhere, man. We have to look at something at the Maxima, I think. All right, let's head on out. Have a good day, eh? Ciao. Well, we got the sneak peek in. All right, Kaunas, we've seen the monastery. We gotta go now. Atlas wants to roll. Hello. Going somewhere? Just hop on with me. Let's get a fun little sneaky look see here. Oh, I 
<laughs> Root drop. I don't think we'll be getting up that one anymore. <laughs> Here's the lake. <laughs> Not like it. Beauty in it. Look at the roots. Look at that. Yeah. We got a big unit of mixed vegetables, toss in a can of tuna. You golden. A kilo of food. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay. That was a brief lunch stop in Rasiniai. Back to the road. We're gonna go, but look at that. That's all gray up ahead. Nuh uh. Uh, we're not out of it. We need a better spot. Got a bad spot. We got a better one. We need a better one. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Got him. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I saw that on the horizon. Yeah, this was looming up ahead. This, you had a chance at this. It shouldn't last though. And I already have to pee like a mofo. This isn't helping. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Proper splash, eh? Yep, still getting wet. Fuck. Holy shit. for that Baltic monsoon we're gonna head that way to the sunshine we are gonna take a left but hopefully around it the lady in the lady shoe store was so nice to let me go have a wee on the road again so pretty much on our way to the coast to a peninsula not a sand bank like we uh, visited in Poland in the Baltic Sea called Neringa should be very nice look at the old truck Mariska noticed uh, all the storks you see the individual ones but you had never seen a group like that hold on Storks. <laughs> they live here. Look at them. See if I can get a look, see? just grabs up front oh I love it <laughs> through the ruts oh, okay you have a look if you can open that up okay just close it behind me yeah cheers you just passed by a lake it looked nice oh there's a fisherman already it's good that we turn off the engine <laughs> it's nice. It's not hard to find a nice 
green spots in Lithuania. Found a little pontoon here. Hey, oh, you find a nice angle here, right? Eh? Atmata River! Entering the city of Rusne before we reach the Baltic coast again. And over there, there's a little bit of Russia in Europe again. Kaliningrad. Look at the totem poles. Tell me more about these Lithuanian bros in the comments. Do these have, as I believe, think they do, pagan origin? Or is it simply a cultural tradition? Maybe with its origins in paganism. So this is uh, where two rivers converge. Nemunas and Ruzne. And over there is Russia. Kaliningrad Oblast, that little piece of Russia that remained Russian after World War II. So we meet again here with the Nemunas uh, River from Kaunas. What it? Eh? Neman. Neman. It's ev everybody is writing it in a different way. In, on, on maps, on Google, on, uh, on the other map app here on the sign. But it comes here next to uh, Russia and then turns into Adman before it hits uh, the Baltic Sea. So yeah, just like in uh, Poland on the, southern, on the southern side that time. Uh, we're close to Kaliningrad. Look at uh, the water, the water currents converging here. Who wants to go for a swim here? I don't know if you saw the watchtower over there too. But uh, that's uh, supposedly completely isolated from the, uh, from the rest of the land around it. Poland, Lithuania. Uh, probably only accessed by air now. Yeah, probably can't even be accessed by sea. And uh, as I mentioned before, when I was talking about Belarus, the Belarusian border is that officially nothing can go in, but people are still def desperate for stuff there. So uh, things are still getting there in smaller amounts and for different ways, clandestino, the smuggling routes. And I already talked uh, to someone who uh, could confirm that. So uh, business went uh, on as usual, but a little bit different. Well, people adapt, you know. Still uh, regular folks uh, living there. So yeah, that's uh, the Russia that pretty much most people don't know that it's uh, there. So close, closer than uh, you might think. Let's go catch a ferry. Oh, don't fall, man. Relax. this inner lake, sea lake. Now the question is, is there a ferry here or not? I kind of assumed that there would be some kind of vehicle ferry so we wouldn't have to go through Klaupedia. Nuh-uh. Doesn't look very ferry-ish. Uh. So no ferries uh, from here. I'm gonna find a place for this night. Nida's over there a bit pretty much. It's really close but yet so far. We have learned that the big city on the coast there, what I before would call Klaipedia, one later Klaipeda, it's called Klaipeda. You got some hot cocoa there <laughs> from the machine. <laughs> Any good? What do you got? Maybe it's the previous. You got a previous. You got a wiener melange. I'll have, have it. It's good, mm. but I think it's coffee as well. Oh, this is nice. Mm, came out of the machine, not bad. Yeah. Sweet ass, but... Um... That's not what we came for. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's We're just talking about motorcycles and I find someone's wallet just like <laughs> my hand goes down or something, huh? There's a big fat wallet here. Mm. Yeah, but no, I see. Would be cool if it could find its way back. I've lost my wallet twice in my life and I got it back both times. I, I, I can uh, try to look at we can Facebook. Look, yeah, we can yeah. look up. Exactly. What's it, Thomas? Where, where are you guys? <laughs> 
80 ki 80 kilometers. We are going to a, a, a place in Selute uh, to spend the night. So we, we got it, man. Yeah, <laughs> relax. No, no, no worries. Then uh, sleep well and then give us a call tomorrow, okay? Yeah, oh, good night. Yeah. Yes, she saw that. Sweet. <laughs> saw so, so, so a message and. Yeah. Know, not too well, but there was no reaction until oh. uh, until <laughs> someone just called. <laughs> oh, he did oh. She saw and yeah. Oh, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, he uh, he was messaging their their uh, their uh, Facebook. All the bad things we say about social media, right? <laughs> no, but it's All the so bullshit. Good. But now now it was it was pretty yeah. handy. Oh, That's awesome. cool. Okay. Yeah. What's your name, man? Thomas. Thomas. Oh, as well. Oh yes, <laughs> Papa, our name in the Philippines. <laughs> right, yeah. safe trip. We're gonna head out to back to what's it? Silute. Is it what's it called? Shilute. 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 To back to Shilute. Yeah, happy we found the people. Very sweet. Sorted out tomorrow. He must have been kicking his head because there's over uh, 300 euros uh, in that wallet and uh, heaps of cards. So it's a terrible thing. Like I said, oh, in my life I got it back twice. So I know that feel. Again, yeah. Ciao, Thomas. And that's how you make friends on the road. Nice, Pedro. This is perfect. I was gonna call. Now, okay, we have to find out. Um, okay, so the place is. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, it's very easy. Very And uh, welcome. Thank you, Asha. Uh, yeah, your key is Humble abode. Get in. <sighs> yeah, fire up the oven. We got the pizzas, the rocket, and the salmon. Throw it on, throw it on. What is it? It's 10 o'clock. Is it? Yeah, nine. yeah, it's amazing. It's almost light until 11. So this place, one of the cheapest options, 36 euros. Get a place. Tomorrow, we return a wallet in Klaipeda, and uh, we head out to Niga. Niga. <laughs> I need to eat. You need Niga? Hi, pizza. Hi, pizza. <laughs> go, go, go. Hi, right, peoples. Uh, tomorrow we continue the ride to Nida, but first we gotta drop off a wallet in Klaipeda. See you in the next one. Ciao.